I haven't done anything like this for, for a long, long time using opaque media. Uh, so here I've got a, my Stay Wet palette. It's got a sponge underneath this white membrane. It, and, and I'm using acrylic. I've just put some acrylic out here. Um, usually you're supposed to wait until the membrane has soaked up some water. But, but the idea of this is it lets the water come through to keep the paint moist, but doesn't let the paint through to the membrane. So, um, I'm painting on this sort of failure. I, I did a line and wash, as you know, of this one, which, which I was quite pleased with. Um, and uh, I'll just drop my easel down a little bit. It's a bit sticking up in the front. It's, it doesn't matter with the watercolour, but with the acrylic and the, with that palette, it will, let, it will let the water, well it will encourage water to go drop backwards and I don't want it to happen because I want it fairly level. Right, okay, so I've, I've got a, up here, uh, um, an oil painting, I did a watercolour painting years ago. I put a church and thing in the background. I did that in oil, but, but I oil, the mediums, or the, the, uh, the cleanse, the, the brush cleaners, the paraffin and white spirit for, for diluting, it doesn't really agree with me. So I'm going to put a sky and I'm, I'm going to paint something like that. So my palette here is, um, is yellow, yellow ochre, uh, cadmium yellow, medium, load of white, vermilion, or a red, any red, blue, ultramarine blue, and some black. Black for the shortcut for the uh, for the green trees I'm going to put in. So wet the brush a bit, and uh, I'll uh, use a bit of well, an upper white, and a bit of bit of blue, just just to cover the uh, the board with some acrylic. This dries very quickly, but I, I want to obliterate what's underneath. It might take a bit of obliterating, but. Whack it on. The watercolour paint paper is very, very good for acrylic, <coughs> and very, very good for oil painting because it's made from linen rag, not from uh, wood pulp, which uh, would eventually rot. So we we'll put a bit of yellow ochre in uh, on the. Uh, a bit, of, bit of red in there. This will obliterate slowly. I'm just just getting some paint on it. It will dry very quick, quickly. So, so my horizon is going to be across there. So you do have to work quick. And um, if you use acrylic, got a new newish brush here. Um, make sure you keep your brushes wet, otherwise if you let a bit of, uh, well that one's falling off, I'll have to stick that one, I'll find another one, excuse me. Uh, try this one, this one hasn't been used, these, these are Chinese hogs hair, they, they do lose quite a few of their hairs but they're, they're, they're cheap and they're, and they're very good, they do nice things. So. We'll put in a bit of bit of a uh, bit of yellow, a bit of bit of black, just to just to put in. To show what's going in. Just bring that down into the. Uh, General murk of things, a bit of red in there. Similar to what I've just done with the watercolour. And we'll uh, put in a bit of a background behind that. 
just dry my brush quite a bit. Bit of, bit of red, bit of blue, bit of white. So this will be just a bit of uh, background colour. Because I'm going to put the uh, put a church in there. Yeah, shouldn't put it in the middle, but. use that on because if I use my watercolor brushes I, I could quite easily ruin them. So let's have some. Right that'll do for that. Ah the rain's coming down now. Could have been out of my bike and all this. a bit more sky. No, right, I'll uh, go into the water. I'll, uh... Just... Go to this fast, otherwise it'll be a bit boring. The light coming through. A bit of, bit of blue in there. Okay. Clean the brush. Always have loads of rag when doing this. Right, so we'll uh, go back into the uh, the blue sky. Smooth it all out a little bit. Oops. So there's my palette. Look. Can always clean it with a bit of tissue. Situated the church, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. You, whatever you put on, you can always take off. This is the beauty. But the thing is about acrylic is you can do it very, very quickly. Now remember the old adage: keep your, make your, your skies of silver, not of lead. Now we've obliterated more or less what's underneath there. So that's good. So now we want to put some cloud, some light cloud. So we're, we're painting the other, the opposite way to the uh, oils. Oh, to the watercolours. So a nice uh, scumble over, the, over there. Look. It's a nice bit of light there. There's a bit of Change the colours, a bit of uh, lilac -y sort of colour. Oh, nice, lovely. I'm just using palette grey on it now. It's all lovely and dry. Oh, dry very quickly. Now we go right into the uh, base of the sky here. A bit of, a bit of red with that ochre. A bit of pinky glow. OK, 
Over down into the whoops, that's enjoyed there. Right, let's uh, just put in some uh, some of the reflections. How quick it dries. Just left them down there. Just reduce the intensity. Okay. We'll just, we'll just take that a bit there. Right now we can go go back over that now and put in some some greens. Maybe maybe I'll save the black. I'll just use the blue. Well, actually, I've got a viridian here somewhere. Virid uh, Thado. Mm. The trouble is, if you use a ready mix green, there's nothing wrong with using greens. This is just a diversion from the watercolours. If you use a green, this is quite a bluey green, the phthalo. Uh, I'll show you. There, phthalo. It's a, uh, but it's, it's a good mixer with the uh, yellows and the ochres. So you wouldn't use it on its own. No. Cuts nicely. And, oh, this is a bright summery day. And I'll put some some darker shadow colour over that, and there's a bit of red in there. Red is a good darkener for for, for greens. Especially light red. A nice dark look. Some darker ones, and I can go back over that with some some violet, well violet mixed up with red and blue for some of those ones. There, red, bit of white. coming out. I'm going to go back with some, some heavier greens and I'll 
use a yellow ochre. with the uh, phthalo green and you can keep working over this until you get something happening yeah. no one the dark Now, I want to paint down to that line there. So I'm going to go with the darks. Now, you can always use uh, painting knives with, it, with this as well. Except we, we're going to find that the paint the paper is a bit buckled, so we probably won't bother. Look, you can just scum with the light greens over the high spots of that. Right, now, uh, I'll put the... Oh, I don't know, I want to put that background, the blues, the light blue background in. Then this just opens it up a little bit. It's a bit of distance behind. Right, now we'll uh, put in that background church and stuff. That's pretty uh, to one side. Lost and found. Uh, just a sort of silhouette. And I've got a light red somewhere, which was uh, very, very useful. But I haven't got any... Uh, An orange. And a bit dark of in the shadow. This is all good fun. I'll just put that in there. facing the light so we'll
just want to really just put this back, this tail back. Okay, now I'll a uh, bit of light green. You want red to show up or green to, to sing a bit, put it near red. Just showing just showing a bit of uh, interest there. Uh, that is a bit too a bit too uh, Too red on the red side. Uh, let's just get them more blue. Okay. So let's uh, do some work on the uh, reflections. Get into the uh, dark shadow colours there. Let's see if we can get some more colour. In here. Just to show some light catching. green I've ruined one of my water colour. Just touching in just those bits there.
now that needs this here needs to be a bit bluer and brighter to be more reflective to reflect the sky more of stuff right now with the old rigger in some trunks and stuff Turn these into a, a green, but they need to be heavy enough to support the canopies. Oh. I just I don't want to do this, just put something back there. Um, not so convinced about my colour on that. Uh, So dark a bit. Just put a shadow underneath here. And I'll just clean that up there. bit that I don't like is just at the top of that, so I'll put in a bit of a... Probably 
this a bit, a bit more dark in the uh, shadow of, uh, of this here. This is sort of a shadow. Just so blue and that green. So what you put in the background, put in the uh, reflection. Sign that. Uh, for better or for worse, this is just a diversion because I was getting a bit depressed with the painting I did earlier. It's uploading onto YouTube now and it didn't look so bad when I had uh, put it in the mountain to, to a photograph of it. Right, let's uh, put it in the mount, head off. That was only a guide. Okay, so so there it is. Just a quick acrylic of nothing in particular. Let's go into it a little bit. Bit of a tower there was a church. I don't think it's gone really high enough, but ah, oh, hey ho, it's different, isn't it? Have a look at the sky. Very quickly done. The blues are not as blue as the camera seems to be making them. But, but anyway, there it is. I'll, I'll put it on YouTube later on, just as, as a quick, a quick acrylic of something to do when I got stuck on the watercolours. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.